This video will cover the topic, finding the absolute maximum and minimum of a function given the graph. First, we must discuss the definitions of absolute maximum and absolute minimum. An absolute maximum is the greatest y-coordinate of a graph function, and an absolute minimum is the least y-coordinate of the function. Let's take a look at an example. To find the greatest y-coordinate, we will compare the highest points of the function. This includes peaks, as well as endpoints, of the function. We can see the highest points are at x equals negative 5, x equals 1, and x equals 5. Now, we must determine which of these three points has the greatest y value. The three y values are y equals 1, y equals 3, and y equals 2. The greatest y value is y equals 3 at x equals 1, so therefore, the absolute maximum is at x equals 1. Now that we know the absolute maximum, how do we find the absolute minimum? To find the absolute minimum, we will apply the same method, but instead of looking for the greatest y value, we will look for the lowest y value. There are two low peaks on this graph, one at x equals negative 2 and one at x equals 4. We must now determine their y values and which is the lowest number. At x equals negative 2, y equals negative 3, and at x equals 4, y equals negative 5. Negative 5 is the lowest y value, so therefore, x equals 4 is the absolute minimum of the function. Let's take a look at a few graphs with holes within the graph function. What does it mean when there is a hole in the function? Great question. A hole occurs when the y value for that x value is undefined. For example, if y equals 1 over 0, a definite point does not exist. When finding the absolute maximum, if a hole is present in the graph and is located at the highest point on the function, the absolute maximum does not exist. In the first graph, we can see there are two high peaks at the coordinates negative 3 and 3 and 2 and 4. The highest peak is located at x equals 2, but because there is a hole, there is no absolute maximum. If the hole is not at the highest peak of the function, will we have an absolute maximum? Yes. If a hole is present on the graph, but not at the highest point, the absolute maximum will still be located at the greatest y value. For example, on the second graph, the hole has moved to x equals negative 3. We know the highest y value is located at the coordinate 2 and 4, so the absolute maximum will be x equals 2. We can apply similar rules when finding the absolute minimum. When finding the absolute minimum of a function, if a hole is present at the lowest point of the function, there will not be an absolute minimum. Let's take a look at the first graph. Here, our lowest values are at the coordinates negative 4 and negative 1, negative 1 and negative 3, and 5 and negative 2. The lowest point on the graph is located at x equals negative 1, but a hole is present. As a result, there is not an absolute minimum. Similar to finding the absolute maximum, if a hole is present but is not at the lowest point of the function, the absolute minimum will be at the lowest coordinate. So because the hole is now at x is equal to 5, instead of at its lowest coordinate, negative 1, negative 3, the absolute minimum is that x is equal to negative 1, right? Exactly. You've got it. Let's apply these rules to find the absolute minimum and maximum of the following function. We will start by finding the absolute maximum. The highest points on the graph are at the coordinates negative 4 and 5, 1 and 3, and 5 and 4. What do you think our next step would be? I can see that there is a hole at 1, 3, but it's not the highest point of the function. That means we can have an absolute maximum, but we will ignore this coordinate. That leaves us with negative 4, 5, and 5, 4 as possibilities for the absolute maximum. The highest y value is at x is equal to negative 4, so this will be our absolute maximum. You've got it. Now. Let's finish the problem by finding the absolute minimum. There are two low points on the function at the coordinates negative 3 and 1 and 4 and negative 2. 
the lowest y value is located at 4 and negative 2, so the absolute minimum is at x equals 4. Let's take a look at another type of problem. In this problem, we have an asymptote we must consider. At the asymptote, the function moves to y equals infinity at x equals negative 4. If the function goes to infinity at the asymptote, do we consider x is equal to negative 4 for the absolute maximum? Great question. In this case, the function moves to positive infinity as the function gets closer to x equals negative 4. If we continue to draw the line of the function, it would continue to increase. Because the function moves to positive infinity, there is no absolute maximum. Now we know the absolute maximum, let's find the absolute minimum. There is a low peak at x equals negative 1 and an endpoint at x equals 4. The y values for these points are y equals negative 4 at x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 2 at x equals 4. There is a low peak at x equals negative 1 and an endpoint at x equals 4. The y values for these points are y equals negative 4 at x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 2 at x equals 4. The lowest of these values is at y equals negative 4, so the absolute minimum is at x equals negative 1. Okay, I think I understand the rules on determining absolute maximums and minimums. So absolute maximum is the highest point or peak of a function, while the absolute minimum is the lowest. There are a couple of exceptions though. If the highest point is a whole, there is no absolute maximum. If the lowest point is a whole, there is no absolute minimum. Finally, if a function moves to infinity in an upwards direction, there is no maximum. And if it goes downward, there is no minimum. Exactly. It looks like you have a clear understanding of this topic.